Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few months ago, I made a video about Windows 7 and how to keep it secure in 2023. Well, I said that I'd make a follow-up to that video and today I deliver. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at various different types of software, including web browsers, antivirus softwares, and word processing. And we're gonna see which types, which, and we're gonna be looking at specific programs to see which ones support Windows 7 and which ones do not. Now, if your preferred program is not featured in this video, then no problem. Just look up the name of the program followed by system requirements, and you should be given some results over Google. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with antivirus. This part of the video is probably most important due to the fact that Microsoft no longer provides security updates to Windows 7. One of the most well-known and renowned pieces of antivirus software is McAfee, which is what I use on my PC coincidentally. Sadly, McAfee does not support Windows 7 anymore as shown by the system requirements on their website, so McAfee is immediately crossed out. Thankfully, Total AV still supports Windows 7 as seen in their system requirements, but Service Pack 1 is required. The same applies to Avast, which also supports Windows 7 Service Pack 1 as well. AVG also supports Windows 7. Not only does Norton support Windows 7, but it also supports versions as far back as Windows XP with something called Maintenance Mode. Maintenance Mode is a form of support for Norton which allows continued compatibility with Windows 7 Service Pack 0 all the way back to Windows XP. The catch is that only security updates are provided, and no new features are added. Since Windows versions as far back as XP are being supported with maintenance mode, it is safe to say that Norton will most likely support Windows 7 the longest, though Service Pack 1 may be switched over to maintenance mode in a few years. In fact, most antivirus programs will be supporting Windows 7 for years to come given the potential increase in demand for antivirus software in the absence of updates from Microsoft. Next up, let's talk about web browsers. Internet Explorer is not only unusable on Windows 7, but doesn't even come shipped with Windows 11. Therefore, Internet Explorer is out of the question. However, there are a few other web browsers. Google Chrome is a popular one. Unfortunately, Google just dropped support for Windows 7 in their latest Chrome 110 update. Brave, my preferred browser, also just dropped support. Surprisingly, Microsoft Edge was compatible with Windows 7, but it is no longer compatible as of January of 2023. Thankfully though, Firefox still supports Windows 7 as seen in their minimum system requirements. Not only does Firefox still support Windows 7, but it will most likely be the last to end support for Windows 7. This is exactly what happened in 2018 when Firefox was the last browser to end support for Windows XP. However, there have been talks of a potential end of support date later this year, so if you want to install Firefox, you should do so quickly. Another browser that still supports Windows 7 is Opera. However, it is not known how much longer Opera will be supported on Windows 7. In contrast to antivirus software, many web browsers have already cut support for Windows 7. If you want to download and install any of these remaining compatible web browsers, you should do so quickly. However, one last option exists, MyPal. MyPal is a web browser specifically designed for Windows XP, however it does run on Windows 7. The level of security provided by MyPal though is not known, so if you choose to run MyPal, be careful when browsing dodgy websites. Our final program category will be word processing. The infamous Grammarly unfortunately does not support Windows 7 anymore. However, there may be a loophole. Google Docs still supports Windows 7 if you have an adequate web browser. Therefore, Grammarly could be used as an extension to Chrome. Other types of word processing software include Microsoft Office. Microsoft Office exists in two forms, Microsoft Office and Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 is a subscription-based version of Microsoft Office which sees annual payments. This version no longer supports Windows 7 as seen in their system requirements page. Microsoft Office is the one-time payment version of 365, however this version of Office doesn't support Windows 7 either. A more obscure web processing software still exists though, and that is Corel's WordPerfect Office 2021. Not only does it come with word processing software, but it can also be used to make presentations and spreadsheets. Thankfully, WordPerfect still supports Windows 7 as of the 2021 version. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If your preferred program was not featured in this video, again, no problem. Just look it up on Google followed by system requirements and you should be given some results. 
Now I have gotten a request to do Windows 8.1 and given Windows 10 is going to be losing support in a couple years, I might be making a follow up to this video covering a wider variety of programs and seeing which ones are compatible with which operating systems. If you guys found this video helpful, please help me out by leaving a like and subscribing and sharing this with anybody else who might have an interest in Windows 7. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!